Welcome back to Soccer Central, out here in Phoenix, Arizona, with our Pro Plus teams. Kate, we've got nine teams going for the championship tomorrow, and we already met, uh, interviewed your teammate from a very special trip you had recently. Where did you go, and what did you do? Uh, Ken and I were lucky enough to travel to Jordan to compete in the Under-17 World Cup and represent the U.S. there. And I know, obviously, uh, the, the journey was fantastic. The result probably at the end wasn't what you wanted, but I'm sure that the development side of it, you learned a lot playing on international soil. Oh man, yeah, so many great experiences I learned, and you know, we're two years younger, so we qualify for the next World Cup, and can't wait to take those experience with me to the next World Cup, and hopefully lead the US to a championship. And I know that obviously, for the folks at home who don't realize this, you're, you were the baby of the side, right? We were, you yep. and Kennedy were the babies, which we love. So I know, Kate, because you've been with us in audio, I remember you coming in as a 12-year-old as a into this program, and Ventura College, I remember all those years ago, and, and you've done ever so well. What were, the, what were the early days like for you? I mean, you know, give us a little bit about your journey in the Pro Plus program and you know, some of the things that were cool. And did you have any setbacks type thing or anything like that? Um, definitely, yeah. The beginning was a little tough. I was nervous at first, a young kid coming into this program. You know, ODP was the place to be, and I was super excited to be here and kind of made my way through the team, made a name for myself a little bit. And But there's also been some setbacks to, you know, being with the national team, but it took me a while to be called in with the 17s. I got cut from uh, ODP one time, and just those experiences all just fueled me to keep me going and keep me hungry. Yeah, that's interesting because I think people don't, don't realize that all the national team kids, you know, whether it was Kennedy or whether it was even Alex Morgan, everybody goes through that rejection phase. That, does that motivate you more? And, and how, did, how did you handle that when you obviously you were upset when you went home? What turned the corner for you to say, I'm going to change, I'm going to do something different to do it better? Oh, I was definitely upset at first, you know. After, I remember after I got cut from this team, I went home and trained outside for two hours in my backyard straight without stopping, you know, and that, you know, that was kind of the best thing really that could happen to me. You know, I got a little bit complacent and that's what I needed. I needed a little push to keep me going. So this year, what are we going to do? This year, we're going to win it, hopefully, going out there, starting, starting this tournament strong, hopefully carry that through and get a national championship for Cal South. Who have you got tomorrow? We have Utah tomorrow. So what do you think? Uh, just another game, you know, going, going out there, the same mentality. We always have, always hungry for the win, and hopefully it'll be a good game. And anything you can give us, any insight from our national team, any little things that you can tell the kids at home that, you know, that uh, BJ and Deal and the guys kind of gave you? Um, I mean, just keep working hard. Don't stop. You know, it takes a, a lot of hard work, a lot of dedication to, to get far with the national team and never give up even when someone tells you, you know, you're not good enough or you can't do it. Don't believe that. Keep going. Believe in yourself. And now that both yourself and Kennedy have made that step, your next goal with the national team is what? Uh, well, two years we have another World Cup, and I'm sure Ken, both Kennedy and I, we do not want to go out in the group stage again. We are ready to hopefully take us to a, a world championship. Well, again, just like I said to Kennedy, we thank you. Thank you for first doing the interview, coming and talk to us and missing that beautiful turkey dinner. But also thank you for representing the United States of America, obviously in the World Cup. And, you know, you, you representing Cal South, our board, everybody, thanks you for doing that. And go do it tomorrow. Oh, as Nike says, just do it. <laughs> Absolutely. Such, a, such an honor always to represent Cal South in my country.